all right hey what's up guys uh i'm back for another video we got another oh okay, yeah just saying back for another video i gotta stop saying back for another video just turn on just start recording then just be like hey guys thank you guys uh, for being here i got something to show you guys today another tutorial to expand yours and my obs knowledge uh i got something for you guys today that i wanted to try out side sidebar here uh i got someone asked me to maybe try to keep the the camera static during these tutorials because of all the jump cuts that i make <laughs> anyways thought that was stupid okay anyways so i'm gonna try to keep the camera static this time normally it's moving side to side other videos cover whatever dude uh, by the way it, it, people keep asking about the moving camera thing I, I made a video on it it's in the description it's like video number nine okay just scroll down slider and innovation okay it's down down below Go, just read the description man i know i know it's annoying sometimes but read read it okay so we got a tutorial here for you guys this one's kind of very simple but also kind of cool because it adds something for single pc users as well as dual pc users and whatever it doesn't matter but it's a cool feature i know a lot of you guys use stream labs obs and stream labs i however use uh stream elements now i i am an all-star I, I am partnered with stream labs I am also partnered with Stream Elements. I'm a part of their dream team. What I want to show you guys today is something that's kind of neat. I'm going to go ahead and switch scenes here. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at a feature in which uh, I think is really cool for um, people to add to their OBS. Uh, again, me using Stream Elements allows me to utilize this feature. And that feature is called OBS.Live from uh or i guess it's just obs live from stream elements now this this is an add-on that you put onto your obs so if you're using Streamlabs obs this is not for you but it basically does the same things that you are used to with Streamlabs and has it inside of your regular obs um the one thing i really like about obs is how much i can manipulate things to my liking i don't need all the fancy fluff and whatnot with with adding on overlays and all that stuff however Everything can be added here just like it would be on uh, Streamlabs in a sense. So I want to walk you guys through this on how to uh, set this up and show you the benefits of getting this all hooked up. So you guys are going to go to streamelements.com slash OBS live. Okay, uh, you're going to come down here and you're going to hit this little download button. I have no idea if this works on Mac. I see the Windows download. I don't know if it works on Mac. Hopefully, I don't know, dude. If you got a Mac, try it out, whatever. But there's also emulators for Mac to make your computer think it's Windows. Anyway, th that's all besides the point. Once you hit this button, you're going to go ahead and get that download. And uh, you bring up your downloads page, and you're going to go ahead and uh, find that file that uh, comes on in. And you're going to want to, uh, let me go ahead and close out of this bad boy here. Open that run box up you're going to want to open the file up hit the old uh, install thing you've installed programs in the past do i really need to tell you how to install something so you're going to want to install and i believe while you do this you're you don't want to have your obs open so i'm going to go ahead and close that down because it needs to put things into your obs let's see here so you're going to go through the little agreement and whatnot we all read these every single time you go through all the licensing and all that stuff you're going to go ahead and just hit uh, i'm going to go ahead and hit next so I guess uh, this might be new or not. I'm not super sure, but I guess maybe if you don't have OBS on your computer, you can actually choose to install a fresh copy of uh, OBS Studio, which I assume would download and then reinstall on your computer here. But I'm only going to use the uh, the OBS Live add-on. So install that bad boy. It numbers things, hacks, and uh, you know someone's looking at all your folders. Ends up you see all those people looking at your stuff. That's what that means. Um, so over here, you're going to get a couple options here. You can just click live and it's going to open up the thing. Uh, and then also you get a little create, uh, you know, desktop shortcut, whatever, if you want that or not. I'm going to go ahead and make it just so you guys can see. Uh, and here it is. So now instead of the OBS studio icon, you now have this thing, which you can launch. And I believe you can launch either one. Uh, and because you have this installed now, it should just open up regardless of which one you pick. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. You don't really need it. So when you double click on this, it's going to open up the new OBS studio that you now have some sick features on. You saw it earlier and how it looked, and now you can already tell, like you can see some stuff, you know, look at this new green streaming button. Look at this live uh, support button down here. It tells you what version you're on. Uh, and you know, let's go ahead and blow this up a little bit. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna connect to your Twitch account. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect because why wouldn't I? So you're going to go ahead and enter in your uh, your old password and stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And hopefully you guys have done this because if you guys aren't using two-factor on your Twitch accounts, what are you doing? 
Dude, there's people that want your account. Imagine you're, imagine you're Dr. Disrespect or Tim the Tatman or Lyric or Ninja, and you don't have two-factor, and someone gets past your defenses, your passwords, and your, your whatever it is, Banana69 is your password. Now they have access to your account, and now they have access to all your everything so uh make sure you use two-factor dude you don't want to have your account hacked i had another account that was hacked but it was a, it was a test account because sometimes i go in and i i test things so i go ahead and uh connect there and then boom just like that okay so we got an update you know what that's fine hit the update button so it's gonna shut down my obs because it needs to run it without obs being open so you get the little update here and this is what it looks like so when you do have to update eventually uh, you'll get this prompt again. I don't I already have the the desktop, you know shortcut created so it'll overwrite itself and sure I'll just launch it. So here we go go back into launch and boom we are in it's logging back in everything's good And let me go ahead and blow this up and we'll kind of go over some of this cool stuff that you guys get to uh, play around with here um, Because a lot of this stuff is really freaking cool, man um, so not only did OBS at one point add the ability to uh you know move your mixers and your sources around and you know let's say you didn't really want to see your scene transitions anymore you can just come up here and just uh go for the old hide maybe you don't need to see your scene transitions but let's go ahead and bring that back in so i'm gonna go ahead and just reset my uh my whole ui here reset ui boom everything's get put back right where it was and you can already see right now uh we got multiple things going on one you got the, the your activity feed all here on the left hand side how neat is that now you don't need to have another window open on your Chrome browser or whatever else you have open for your browsers. And you get to just see everything, all your activity that's happening. You know, 17 hours ago, I got two people following the channel. I got someone coming in with a host when I was live and you know, I got a subscription here. And maybe you don't want to see all this stuff. Maybe you don't want to see when people follow your channel. So you can just come over here and filter out the stuff that you want to filter out. And whether you have redemptions, whether you have raids or hosts, and you, maybe you don't want to see hosts unless somebody has a minimum of 2,000 viewers, you know what I mean? Then you just go ahead and uh, let that go on through. Boom, and uh, you should be good. Now it's only going to show when people host with 2,000 viewers, you know what I mean? So obviously that's that's ridiculous. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uncheck that. And maybe I don't want to see followers. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Maybe I don't really want to see all the bits. Maybe I don't want to see uh, tipping. Maybe I just want to see the people that are coming in and subbing to the channel. So I go ahead and uh, hit that button. And now you get to see the people that have been subbing for the past uh, couple hours. And uh, you see this little line here on the left that that's like a marking line like you can be like oh I saw that or no I didn't see it so the line means you haven't seen it you can technically check these and be like cool I've seen it moving on that way you know where you left off so you can kind of keep up to date with you know what's the most current I'm gonna go ahead and just enable everything really quick and we're good so I have my scene set up and whatnot but now I want to be able to see chat and normally I do a pop-out chat or I have my dashboard open on my other monitor but not anymore man you got chat built right on in to your OBS and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Technically, you can drag this out and go full on chat mode where you know you can put this over here and let's say this is my stream PC monitor, boom, chat on the left hand side. Another thing you guys get here is the media requests feature, which uh, if you have media requests turned on, they will pop out and uh, chill right here and you'll be able to handle all your videos coming in or your, your songs or whatever else you got coming in. And if you don't want it, you just click it away and gone just like that see look there's jet burrito right there man my good my good buddy jet burrito there's the chat yeah i'm gonna go ahead and close out of that too here in a minute but yeah what you can see is like you can literally just drag this however you want you know maybe you want this below your activity feed you know what i mean maybe you want it uh maybe you want your activity feed on the top and maybe you don't really care about your video feed so you just kind of shrink it down like that and maybe you uh maybe this is your setup everything's super modular now and, and it's super awesome that you get to mess around and kind of change the layout of your own setup. And I'm usually full screen with my OBS, so I'm able to to maximize the use of everything. Usually I have this setup here on the left side. If I do have chat, I'll have it on the right side. Um, but technically, I mean, usually I'm using my chat on a separate monitor on my game PC. I, I don't really use it in here. So normally my stream setup looks kind of like this um, because I like just being able to look over and quickly see all all these activity features and everything that's happening and resubs and all that stuff it's very cool it's great uh you get these little bonus perks of like this little green button here which is kind of fancy and just adds a little bit of flair to your situation but not only that you get this really cool other thing over here and let me go ahead and position my camera over here to the right hand side and if you look right here uh in the activity feed you get this little menu option and here's something that's kind of cool that i i feel like not enough people know about 
is you can technically go into this. You can go into your own stream settings and down here you can customize the bot name that is in your channel. So technically you can make a Twitch account and call it whatever you want. Like right now I can change it to my actual username. So when, when commands come through using stream elements, it ends up showing my name as I posted it. You know what I mean? Or I can leave it as stream elements and it'll show that stream elements is uh, the, the bot. You can also set your own bot name. So you just create another account. You link this so you would uh hit the little customize you got to connect that bot custom bot account so you got to make your account connect it maybe maybe your name is bob and now you want to be uh bot bob you know what i mean maybe that's your bot that's going to post all your stuff in your chat so it's not you know maybe you just want a custom name you know everything's customizable and it's really nice that they have this feature so to do all that you got to make sure you got to go through this checklist and make sure you uh got all that connected they basically want you to use their features because when you use their features uh they give you more which is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as uh, stream elements here. Hotkeys, I mean, technically you can set hotkeys. So instead of having to come up here and manually hit, you know, pause my alerts or mute them or reload them because uh, I wanna I wanna fix them up or something, or, you know, maybe something's not displaying correctly or skip it, uh, boom, just like that. All these buttons are right here. You can add hotkeys to be able to do the exact same things and you can add more here. Uh, and have it do whatever you want. A pretty cool feature, pretty cool that they uh, they included this into this simple thing here. You can hide and show your viewer count if you really wanted to, you know, that's up to you. Um, you know, shrink this down, make it bigger. So if I go back to the names, I can really make this really, really big or I can shrink it down if you don't wanna take up too much real estate. Maybe you got bad eyes and you gotta, you can't read Tony's name here. So there's Tony's name or I shrink it down because all I need to do is just see like who's following, who's hosting and rating and yada 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 so another feature how you see these little uh, lines here right you can also just go ahead and click this little button right here and it'll mark everything as red and you go ahead and hit yes and then boom everything is marked as red which is great uh, another uh, situation you guys got is this leaderboard section uh, so you can sort by like weekly or monthly or all time you know you'll start to see like who's your top tipper of that week who's your top cheerer of that week there you go very very cool very simple if you ever needed a quick like who's top dog boom and then in the session will tell you or weekly or monthly or whatever you want to call it uh it'll be very easy for you to be like hey thank you so much you know at the end of your stream i i usually say at the end of my stream like hey thank you my top d was so and so much appreciated thank you guys for supporting um so that's really cool right there anyways you guys don't really need to know about activity feeds but the the cool part is is that stream elements is now built into into obs which is great. Just having all this functionality in here is is fantastic. It's a very cool, simple add-on that just gives you a little bit more flexibility so you don't have to... The biggest one for me, IMO, is the chat. Having chat attached to your OBS, so I have my OBS full screen on my stream PC that you guys can't see, that's huge for me, man. To be able to have that chat on a whim right there, it's great. And not only that, but I don't have to have it, but if I want it, it's always recording the dialogue. So let's say my game PC crashes on me, right? My chat's on my game PC. What am I going to do? I come over here, stream elements, boom, hit the chat. My chat is back. And I'm able to catch back up and be able, as I'm rebooting my gaming PC, I'm still able to see what's going on with chat. This is a huge thing that I didn't do before because I didn't, I didn't want to open up another browser for, I don't, I, I don't want to sacrifice opening up, opening up Chrome because Chrome is a, a, a heavy CPU resource uh, application, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't losing that priceless CPU power that I use for uh, encoding and whatnot. That's a, it's a very simple video that I ended up talking way too much about, but yeah, Stream Elements OBS Live, uh, a very cool feature if you use Stream Elements. I recommend them, they're a good company, they're good, they make, they make good stuff, man. I mean, you know, if you don't wanna have six million browser sources in your OBS, you just, you know, it's like one and done link. You know what I mean? Like you don't need, you just get one OBS browser source and you get maybe two if you really need something fancy. But basically it's a very cool, just simple add-on. So if you guys ever want to do that and go ahead and get it done, it's very simple. You can get it done very, very fast. And anytime there's an update, when you open up your OBS and ask you, do you want to update? You can choose yes or no. It's great. Little features, little perks, and you know, just visual life, life enhancements. It's great. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching guys. Like and subscribe. I'm just kidding. Don't. You don't have to do that. If you guys ever want to come check out my channel when I'm live, feel free, dude. Twitch.tv slash activator. I'm, I'm live Monday, Tuesday, uh, Thursday, Friday. Um, but today's my day off and I'm trying to get some YouTube videos for you guys. So, you know, as something as simple as these little tiny tutorials, I'm going to try to do more of this stuff to kind of get people that much deeper into OBS and that much deeper into the little other things that I didn't really go over. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one.
Stay beautiful. You are beautiful. And later. Till the next time.